uh, we're back after meeting Queen Bee and Percy. Yeah, so it was Percy. How many is, uh, okay. So there's something more going on here, but well, he's a fun flex regular. There'll be plenty of time to learn more later. I've got work to do. Let's see. What's a handle next? Yep, it's the crowd left. I don't do well in crowds. In the distance, I see a number of people gathering, which is surprising since the first half of my shift was complete in utter solitude. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy to see that people do come to the arcade, but that's quite the crowd that's assembling. Like, larger than Queen Bee's team was rowdier, t was rowdier too. This has to be against some fire code or safety protocol or something, right? Speaking as a citizen that enjoys living, having an escape route in a case of emergency is necessary. Time to clear the way and pay my own path of safety. As I approach, I see flashing neon lights accompanied by a beat Euro pop drifts. Oh, okay. It's an auditory flashback right to 1980. I can't help but nod. Oh, I can say 1980 something like in the Goldbergs, but nod my head to the beat. A pulsating mass of people is surrounded Showtime stage cheering on the current player. The game itself takes up a whole corner of the arcade, requiring a fair amount of space to actually play. Sometimes stage is an ultra-modern arcade smash hit. It uses motion tracking sensors hidden behind the color spotlights to check dance pose accuracy and score your sweet moves. So like the PlayStation, but a lot better, I'm assuming. It's pure dance fever. Can you catch the fever and see? I had my dance fever shot at the doctor's office earlier this season. As the dance ends, one of the players hops down from the stage and immediately starts talking to a young man leaning up against the back wall. Did you see that, Tio? I got my first double A on Stop the Beat. Yeah. yeah, I did. You're doing great. Are they like twins? Remember last month you couldn't even pass that song? Totes impressive. Ugh. I'm gonna keep practicing and one day maybe even surpass you. Hey, I hope you do. And when you do, you can be the one who brings in new dancers and teaches them how to play. As the next song starts, my eyes shift from their conversations to observe the gyration and intricate limb movements coming from Showtime stage. I feel my head bobbing and my foot tapping. Hey, it's a really catchy song. Can you blame me? And but I'm I'm getting really into it when I feel a hand on my shoulder. Oh, the way you said that. How about you? Want to take the spotlight? Uh, what? In public? I think, oh, yeah, that's what I would say. I'm not one for dancing with strangers. You know what dancing leads to? Me falling on my face in front of all these people. Either that or one of my customers enjoying a trip to the emergency room with a shattered foot. I'd rather not embarrass myself right now. Let's save this, that for later. Tis a showdown shame, or this, wow, I can't read. This a downright shame, but you can't blame me for trying. How could I resist to ask a gal such as yourself? What do you mean, as myself? You caught my eye in the moment you walked over. How could I catch your eye? Hey, wait, you're new here, right? Oh yeah, it was probably because I was new. Definitely that. Yes, very. Name's about Teo, but everyone here just calls me Teo. Teo's the best. Greatest guy here. Boogie Boogie. <laughs> I love these. He's sort of like our uh, leader, yeah? Oh, please. I'm nothing, really. He looks directly into my eyes. I don't like this. <laughs> nothing as special as you. <laughs> I just like I just like to show newbies the ropes and teach them how to play. Our community is small, but we're all super close. I think you'd be a perfect addition to our gang. So what do you say? Play our silly dancing game? Tio stretches his arm to me, waiting for my hand to grab his politely decline T is a persistent one but at least he's not mean about it maybe after I've played showtime showtime stage multiple times alone possibly in the dark look I appreciate the offer but I don't know if this one's for me I'd like to avoid injuring anyone notably myself with enough practice you'll get it plus I could always teach you yeah I think I'll pass it's actually on the clock right now I'm actually on the clock right now. I'm the new Florida attendee, attendant Z. Really? But I haven't seen you around here at all. What happened to the other guy? 
he was actually pretty good at Showtime stage. Now that I think about it, he's out. I'm in. It's currently year of year zero of the floor attendant Z regimen. Well, was an honor to meet you, Z. I hope we get to know each other well. Indeed. For someone that loves Showtime stage as much as you do, I haven't actually seen you play yet. True, most of the time during these meetups, I tend to let everyone else play. I go around and make sure everyone is happy and having a blast. But what about you and your feelings? Tio shrugs. My happiness comes from making other people happy. Oh, I, see. There, I bet there's a depressed storyline with this guy. That's all I need in life. Which is all well and good, but I still need to deal with this crowd. How best to handle it? Hey, want to film a workplace safety video? We need to start. I know you're having a ball out here, but the crowd is blocking the emergency exit. By law, we have to keep a path present. Can't you let it slide just this once? For me? Ugh, now I don't like him. Nope, if I let it happen once, then it's going to happen all the time. I get it, though. Your crew is passionate about this game, and that's a good thing. But a stampede on my first day at work would be bad for everyone involved. Could you imagine the headlines? Local arcades floor attendant trampled on first day blood everywhere. Ha, uh, very true. I don't want to be checking my social media tomorrow and click the link to your obituary. We totes can't have that. I forgot he said totes. Just don't like the do. I got this. Luckily, the song that was being played just finished. Tio jumps up on the stage and cups his hands over his mouth. Hey, listen. <laughs> I just think about Navi. We need to keep the area to the left of the st keep the area to the left of the stage clear. Oh man, but why? I like my spot. Hey now, you know the deal. We all have to be cool about fire safety. It's Z's first day, so let's show her some respect. I see everyone's turn everyone turns around and glare at me. Great. Now I'm going to be known as the party pooper. I guess I've had worse reputations in my lifetime. Like that one time I had to close the pool behind because of that dirty bandage floating in the water. No one would talk to me for a week. Hey, hey, hey don't disappoint me, crew. Z's just doing her job. Reluctantly, the crowd reshuffles itself in a semi-orderly fashion. As everyone settles into a safer way of watching the game, Tio jumps down and comes back to me. Better? I nod, genuinely impressed with how Tio can capture his community's attention. They listen to him and have the utmost respect for him. Yeah, actually, much better. Didn't mean to cause any trouble. Sometimes we just get so caught up in the game, you know? Of course, you know. Hey, you should still join us later. Maybe when your shift's over, we'll be here dancing until closing time. As close as that, as long as that is within the law, carry on, Officer Z has spoken. I start to walk away, ready for my next venture when I remember something I should do. I turn back to Tio. Hey, thanks. Well, I feel nice and accomplished. I was able to uphold the safety of the arcade like a model employee. I say that's pretty that's pretty good for my first day. Even Gavin's gotta be impressed, right? With that business sorted out, it's time to leave showtime stage. The arcade is now at peace. My work here is done. Well, actually, we're a few hours from closing time, so my work here isn't quite done, but you know. I'm so at peace in fact that I don't even notice the un underboss of the arcade sliding up sliding on up behind me hmm not a bad first day so far i've been keeping tabs on you well others have been and they've been texting me oh you know you should consider getting a proper group chat app going i've got a crappy phone plan my texts aren't free <laughs> uh valid points i'll look into that Sorry. i'm impressed with how you handled yourself i think you're going to work out just fine Anyway, I prepared your paperwork. If you'd like to go sign it and make this working relationship a bit more above broad, above board, I can read. So you're staying? Please tell me you're staying. I mean, I fed you and everything. Princeton hasn't fired her yet, right? An adorable nightmare joins the impromptu staff gathering. Z's off to a great start here, too. Here's to our first day, followed by many more. Don't you two have jobs to attend to? Just ordered a replacement power supply to Robotron. Nothing left to do for the day. Not many kids around for me to entertain. Finally, a quiet moment. My dream job has been going a mile a minute since I got here. Hmm. Is it my dream job? I told Francine I wasn't sure why I was here, but that I was willing to try and find out for myself. 
It'd be silly to think I'd find my purpose after a single day, but on the whole, that that's day, that day's been pretty decent. I'm starting to get along with my coworkers. I'm helping people with their problems. What more could I want? What more could I want? Well, I don't know, not yet, but I'll find out one day. We've only got like a few hours till closing and it's nice and quiet. How about we game a bit? Speak for yourself, I still got paperwork to handle. Oh, come on, don't act like you don't game. Irrelevant. I know your dirty little secret. What, Naomi? You sneak in early each morning to play pinball. You're a pinball wizard. Well, what of it? I bring order to chaos. Pinball is the very expression of that art form. You know what we should do in Prop 2 Pinball Tourney? The girls are giggling and I'm finding myself smiling right alongside them. All in all, not a bad way to end my first day. Are we not gonna play? I wanna play games. Oh. Oh, we're not doing that voice. By the way, I've booked a birthday party for this afternoon. Okay, we tried. Look at the confusion now, right? Terror, their faces all laughter dying off immediately are vaguely concerning to me. Sorry, sorry, I meant to tell you, dears, but I plum forgot. Plum forgot. A birthday party? How old are these kids, may I ask? It's her first birthday. Oh, to be young again. F five years old? Naomi pulling at her hair, eyes wide and drunk. <laughs> Throwing ski balls over her head into the glass, jumping up and down on pinball machines, putting chewing gum into coin slots, pulling out my costume, tearing off pieces of it. Naomi, actually, keep it together. We've survived kids' birthday parties before. It's like we're going to a war zone. Doom, doom, this, the high is nigh, or the end is nigh. I can read. Well, I'd, pre I'd hate to get in the way of all the fun. It's time for my afternoon nap anyway. Have fun, dears. <laughs> right, battle stations, everyone. I take dis ticket desk so I can oversee operations. Actually, greet the kids. And Naomi, watch for hardware damage. Z, remain duty. Look for trouble. Do what you can. Prepare yourselves. They are coming. Like an oncoming tidal wave, this dumble it, rumble it felt before it is seen. Parents pulling into the parking lot, minivans disgorging kindergartners, and suddenly... An explosion of small humans rushes the doors, bursting into the arcade before scattering every which way. Even before any of them can get tokens, they're grabbing at joysticks, smashing buttons, eager to get their game on, or even just pretend to be playing. That sounds right. The crew assumes battle stations, Naomi by the fragile pinball machines, Ashley near the door, trying to distract the incoming kids to greet them. Gavin, armed with pre-stacked $10 rolls of tickets, quickly exchanges them with the adults, beats waiting in line at the change machines. As for the programmers, well, Queen B and Tio's friends ball for the exit, abandoning them, keen on getting out ahead of the surge of kitty kitties, I guess. Uh, that's uh, all very well and good, but I've got no idea where I'm supposed to be. Roaming duty. Gavin said, look out, look for trouble, Gavin said. I mean, I was doing that before, but now, now the chaos has multiplied. For a few minutes, I'm like a pinball being bounced around, or like that frog trying to cross a highway of traffic. <laughs> Frogger. Wait, was there another reference? I gotta know. Uh, I don't know, it's just Frogger. Okay, and eventually I spot three possible problems on the rise, and Z, professional floor attendant, is ready to attend to them. Which one of these should I tackle first, though? I may not be able to deal with them all of them. May not be able to deal with them all in, all of them in time. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna end it here before all this trouble gets, because we have a minute left. I, I we can finish it early here. Uh, so the next episode, we're gonna deal with some kiddos, hopefully. They aren't the worst, and they're actually very cute and adorable and, and not going to kill me. But, yeah, hope you enjoyed. See ya.